Ralph Sonny Barker was born October 8, 1938, in Modesto, California. In 1957, he founded the Oakland, California chapter of the world-renowned motorcycle club known today as the Hells Angels. Sonny is loved by many and respected by all who truly know him. Sonny's character and leadership qualities have earned them the title of the American legend. Many artists pay tribute to the image of Sonny Barger. The internet is filled with images and stories, but only Sonny can share the truth about his life, his character, talents, and passions. I had the fortunate opportunity to visit Sonny and his wife Serena at their home in Arizona. Sonny's passion for life, motorcycles, and horses is second to none. His dedication to the thousands of fans who purchase books and t-shirts and posters on his websites is shown as Sonny personally signs, packages, and delivers these items to the local post office. While I was there, the American flag flew at half mass in honor of the victims of the shootings in Colorado. Sonny is about to take the world on a journey where few have ever gone through his movie, Dead in Five Heartbeats. The cast and crew, and now you, will see firsthand what it is like to walk in the shoes of a living legend. Rock This Magazine presents behind the scenes footage and exclusive interviews of the movie, Dead in Five Heartbeats. There's a, many different types of leadership. And, and whether you're running a classroom or a boardroom, um, you know, some leaders have respect and trust and confidence. And when, you know, we notice that when you walk into a room, you're a born natural leader. You know, what do you think that you have inside you that makes you that type of man? Well, I believe that if I like to treat people the way I want to be treated, if I like to tell the truth, if I like to be on time, and I expect everybody else to be. A lot of what makes you the man you are are your passions, your hobbies. What, what sort of things do you like? Well, I like to ride motorcycles probably best of anything. And then after that, I like to ride my horses. I don't mind getting up in the morning and cleaning stalls and feeding the horses and stuff like that. I think that's part of what keeps me active because I know they got to eat and I got to get up and feed them. Your new mo movie that's coming out, you know, why did you pick the people that you picked for that? Well, Jeff Santo, the director, Pick the people that we hired, like Jeff Black, to play the parts. And then uh, we had probably 200 motorcycle riders, maybe 50 or 60 of them actually were Hells Angels that worked for us to make the movie. And uh, we, we made a low budget film, but a very good movie. But we had 200 people in there that wanted to see this movie made, and all of them genuine motorcycle enthusiasts. So you can't get more real than that. Yeah, we had a little bit of trouble with uh, a couple of people that were hired that were like in the costumes and stuff that they wanted to put uh, Jeff, who played Patch, in the uh, chaps with fringe and leather jackets and stuff. and. We convinced them, but we had a hard time telling them when you see a guy in a pair of beauty shorts with red and white tennis shoes, uh, that's the way people dress today. <laughs> and uh, you're not going to put the guy in chaps and a fringe chaps. But I said everybody you see on a motorcycle in this film is a genuine motorcycle enthusiast. I understand that this movie was done in 24 days. Actually, the filming was done in 24 days. The editing and the sound and everything like that, that's again up to Jeff. I have no idea. But I, I understand it'll be around the end of September before it's actually a film. Have you had an opportunity to see any parts of it yet? I don't want to see anything until that I can watch it. It says the end. 
Now, um, the other thing too is you have two internet businesses going on right now. Um, you've got, uh, uh, well, tell me about those. Well, I've had my one internet business, internetsonyparker.com, uh, for 13 years now. Uh, my wife, Sarana, she does all the computer stuff and brings out the orders for me. And, uh, I package the orders and mail them out. Well, it's funny yesterday that uh, here you are, you know, signing your books and not only signing them, but you're the one that delivers them to the post office, too. <laughs> well, somebody has to do it. <laughs> I mean, we don't, we, we're not ever going to get wealthy off of my books. I mean, I've made a lot of money in the beginning, but the last, uh, well, the first book I wrote was 12 years ago, and the last book I wrote was probably about four years ago. So I'm still, you know, making a few dollars off of that. We also sell t-shirts and sweatshirts and stuff like that with my name on it. But uh, I'm never going to retire off of that. It just helps pay the bills. I do... Uh, a thing on Sons of Anarchy once show a year, and that helps feed me. And uh, this year I've done a thing with Tucker Rocky advertising their clothing in an ad in their book. That helps feed us. But I don't have any one big thing that makes me a lot of money. I have a lot of little things that make me a fairly decent living. And I guess you could say I'm hoping this movie is going to retire me. Talking about all the people that have come into your life, because I've seen so many people embrace you, um, tell me what makes you feel special. I'm Joanna. Uh, I'm Sonny Parker, and this is Rock This Magazine. Fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> My name is Jeff Black. I play Patch Kincaid in the movie Dead in Five Heartbeats. Tell me what your, the highlight for you was in this movie. The highlight for me, uh, wow, there's a lot of highlights in this movie. Uh, one, having uh, Sonny Barger and Z Barger uh, uh, being involved. It's, it's based off Sonny's book, Dead in Five Heartbeats. And uh, uh, to have uh, the American legend uh, Sonny Barger involved alone is is quite an honor. Uh, so you would say that uh, you know a lot of the footage that's in there is is very realistic. Where people are going to come to see this movie. Absolutely. If uh, when you're watching this movie, you'll actually see uh, ninety five percent, maybe even more than that, of everyone in this movie is a real biker, belong riding with a real club. Um, playing themselves. So I don't think there's a lot of movies that have ever uh, gone that far into the, uh, the realism in a, in a movie. Uh, Were there ever any situations where like what the directors wanted was one thing, but you know, you guys would say, mm, you know, I think we would really do it more like this? Well, uh, there was a lot of those situations uh, where the, uh, the cast was able to uh, bring more originality to it, e even though the director has a very good direction. Jeff Sano's fantastic at, at what he does. Uh, even though he knows what he's looking for, uh, it helped all the little, almost like taking a, a, a towel and wringing it tighter and tighter and tighter to actually get it so authentic, uh, down to how something's said. Uh, got. Uh, twisted at the very end to this is how it would really be said in real life. Uh, that part was fan fantastic. Uh, um, there were some uh, times when uh, I remember the big fight scene in the bar and uh, Mr. Sano is such a great guy and he said action and you have all these real bikers and biker girls and these sexy outfits and everyone's uh, going at it and he says, cut, is everybody okay? And all he was worried about was making sure when you have that many bikers in one room, uh, 
man, anything could happen. So when you when you think about this movie, I, it takes me back to like the the Goodfellas movie. It takes me back to uh, the Godfather. Uh, those two in particular is because there was a world back in the early uh, late '60s, early '70s that nobody knew of. Everybody was intrigued with that world, uh, but but no one really understood it. And The Godfather came out and uh, really shed some light uh, as to how the mafia was run way back when. Uh, not to say that motorcycle clubs are mafia. It's just the, the world on which they live in is so uh, unknown. Uh, no one knows or understands how all of the whole motorcycle uh, thought process works and, and what they're really about. And... Uh, I think this movie is just like uh, Goodfellas or uh, The Godfather in in bringing to light uh, everything about motorcycle clubs. And just like The Godfather and Goodfellas, they're not bad people. Uh, They just live a different life. Uh, They're beautiful people. I've I've met uh, many friends uh, from making this movie. Respect, trust, character... Everything. In fact, uh, the same rules that they abide by uh, would shock corporate America. They couldn't even handle it. Uh, you know, these are the one percenters. They don't abide by those rules. They are real. Uh, they are honest. They're good people. Um, they believe in the Constitution and freedom. So uh, if, if it does anything for you when you're done watching this movie, it should give you uh, a very good insight on not just the Uh, motorcycle arena but uh, on what this country was truly built on. This has all of uh, the elements that make up what a good movie is. All right, if you look at uh, the charts right now, uh, the last one was the Avengers, was shot in 3D, ours is shot in 3D. Uh, It has all the action that the Avengers would have, only it's real life. So it's not guys on capes, it's guys wearing a different type of cape, uh, riding motorcycles. And motorcycles always look great on film. And when you take motorcycles with guys wearing uh, patches from motorcycle clubs, and then you tie in, uh, it automatically dra- uh, draws in beautiful girls uh, wearing leather and chaps and all that good stuff, and then uh, throw in the, the fight scenes, uh, the guns, the shooting, the... Uh, it's just a rampage of excitement, the entire movie, all the way through. Action. It keeps you on the edge of your seat uh, f- from the minute it starts to the minute it ends. And My name is Jeff Black. I play Patch Kincaid in Dead in Five Heartbeats. And you are watching Rock This Magazine. My name is Chico, and uh, I'm playing Ahab, the president of the Infidels out of Oakland. I've been in a motorcycle club for... Almost 40 years. Um, I think it's brought authenticity it, it, because I mean I've I've done some some lines and they just they didn't sound quite like we would say them. And I mentioned it to Jeff and he picked up and said, "Yeah, all right, I got that part." Uh, I know that I use a little more uh, vulgar language than, than than the character was written to have. But I mean, that's that's what we do. It's it's our lifestyle. I never I, I never knew making movies would be like this. It's I mean, it keeps you riveted. And the people I'm working with, what a wide, diverse group of people. It's great. It's great. Uh, yeah, I get the last bad guy. You know, and the, the movie is 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 it was written by Sonny. So I mean, it's about it's about clubs. And it's pretty long, right along the lines of our life, our lifestyle. You know, um, a couple of things, just a couple of the lines, you know, I went, but they had to be Sonny's co-writers. You know, that, that you really don't have a, a basis of, of the lifestyle. I know that they're, they're not going to use my bike because it's way too cool. <laughs> uh, my name's Jeff Santo. Uh, I'm the director of Dead in Five Heartbeats. I've been a filmmaker for about uh, 17 years now. Uh, I've uh, 
written, directed, and produced uh, five feature films. Well, first of all, I, I met Sonny about uh, five years ago through a friend of mine, a uh, filmmaker friend of mine, Troy Duffy, who wrote and directed The Boondock Saints. You know, Sonny's got so many great stories, and, and to call me up and be part of this movie was such an honor. Sonny's a one percenter, you know, he's, he's the, the king of that culture. You know, when you have uh, four authentic uh, motorcycle clubs there uh, pretending to be in battle, uh, you know, you never know what people are thinking. But that was the great thing about the film. So many people came to the table in the motorcycle club culture to, to get behind Sonny. This film couldn't have made, been made without it. I mean, the Hells Angels opened their clubhouse to us. I mean, it, it was wonderful. And, uh, you know, they actually played the, the fictional motorcycle club in the film. And then the other clubs were, were authentic. Uh, the Roland Knights, the Hooligans, Alma. You know, so it was great that uh, all these clubs came out and, uh, and gave it their all. And, you know, a lot of them, you know, a lot of these people in the film never acted before. But they didn't have to. It was all about uh, preparation, and I worked with a lot of them uh, to get ready for uh, their scenes. And even Jeff Black, I mean, he came in and, and did a wonderful job and uh, worked a good month and a half. We worked together on the part, and he talked with Sonny, went out and spent a couple days with Sonny, and just stuff like that that made it genuine, authentic, that uh, we were going to, you know, make sure that... Uh, People are going to remember this film. I mean, Jeff had a big speech in the, in the movie towards the end where he's got to rally the troops uh, in the clubhouse, and those are all real Hell's Angels that he's rallying. So, you know, that was, I'm like, well, you've got to be ready for this one. Let's go. And, man, it was like the real thing and uh, something else. I remember, you know, a couple of people on the crew going, wow, that was amazing. And because it was real. I mean, you know, you, you felt it in that room. And we're in a real clubhouse, you know. This so, kind of movie could not be made without Sonny and his dedication and all the other clubs participating. It couldn't. Well, yeah, you're, you're crossing the line here that, that no, other, no one could really cross because uh, people try and, you know, make these things up, but we had the real deal going on. You know, we had the authentic clubs, the authentic person leading everything. Um, and that's what makes this movie so unique, and that's what uh, separates this film from any other film that's going to be out there dealing with motorcycle clubs. And I think, you know, also you, I use Sonny's book Freedom as Patch's narration. That, yes, it was adapted from uh, Dead and Five Heartbeats, but it was also adapted from his book Freedom. So the message of this film is universal, you know, about freedom, about independence, about sticking up for yourself, fighting for what you believe in. You know, today that's lost a lot. And so this film speaks about that. And that's why these, these clubs are one percenters. You know, uh, they're going to speak for what they believe in and stand for what they believe in. And uh, I hope that theme rings true universally. And this film is very entertaining. You're going to laugh. You're going to be on a ride. And uh, there's good action in there. Uh, there's great characters. And there's also great determination in a lead character that you're going to follow. You've got to have a strong lead character. And basically, that's Jeff Black playing Patch. And you've got to relate with this character, why he does what he does. I mean, you look at something like The Sopranos, you know. Yeah, there's things in there that you wouldn't agree with maybe what, what he does, but ultimately you're behind him because he's going after certain people that deserve it, you know. And I think that strength and that entertainment, it, it has all the elements, and it's hard for an independent film to pull that off. And the only way we pulled that off is that these guys were all real. They rode their own bikes, you know. We went on, we went on the highway and... and, and shot it, you know, on location. So it's hard to do that because usually you got to throw a stuntman in here, a stuntman there. We had none of that. You know, these were real riders. And so what I would say is that, that you're going to be on a ride with this film, a good ride. I love Martin Scorsese, you know, uh, Goodfellas and uh, Casino. Um, uh, I love, uh, you know, Tarantino stuff with true romance. I think this has a lot like a true romance, you know, where we're... There's so much involved, uh, and you're on this, this journey with the, with the lead character. And, and you're going to find that in this film. But uh, there's a lot of films that I like. Uh, but uh, I always like to follow a strong lead character. You know, you've got to follow someone that, that you're going to believe in and take that ride with them. And we have that because basically, you know, yes, this is a fictional story, but we all know that, that Sonny's stories come from experience. So... That's what you got to come and see. 
My name is Christy Collins Santo, and I am the executive producer and editor of Dead in Five Heartbeats. I really felt like uh, like a fly on the wall into a secret society, especially being like the furthest from that world. Uh, it was it was it was very um, very exciting. I, I, I would say, I, and, and that's what makes me know that girls, you know, even girls who are not, you know, around hardcore bikers or anything like that are going to love this film because it's just cool. It's cool guys. It's cool bikes. Uh, you know, even the girls are fun. Everything about this film is, is just, it's, it's really cool. I hate to use the word cool, but it's really cool. <laughs> that's awesome. That, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> What elements does this have? I mean, is is there any comedy? You know, what what does this instill in this movie? There, th this movie is filled with comedy and drama, and uh, there, you know, there's even there's even an emotional scene in this movie between. Well, I, I don't want to give it away too much, but it um, for women out there, you're really going to appreciate the dialogue. Um, also, there's uh, action. But more importantly, there, there's this, this drama, this, this suspense, this hanging on the edge of your seat kind of excitement. And it makes you want to get on a motorcycle and ride. And I'm one who's not really, a, you know, is afraid of motorcycles, so now I want to ride. Wow, that's great. Um, I was very fortunate today for, to be able to see some of the footage of the movie in, in, in 3D. And I've got to say, that is the most amazing, most realistic 3D I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I felt like I was in the rooms with the bar scenes and the fights and things like that. What, why is this 3D so much better than everything else that's out there right now? Because the typical 3D you're going to see in the movie is gimmicky 3D. It's like, let me come at you, let me come at you, and you know, kind of scare you. That's not really how you go about in life viewing things. Things aren't jumping out at you all the time, although they do in life. It's not part of life. So just viewing things in natural 3D gives you an intimacy where you feel like you're there. It's not full of gimmick. So Yeah, that was, that, again, amazing. Now, that's going to be that same look in, um, in theaters and uh, the 3D TVs also? It should. We uh, technically are we're using a, a Mayo 3D method where we could choose different uh, exports, uh, one for TV, one for theaters, and one for... Uh, iPods or iPads, things like that. So we're not yet sure if we're going to be doing several or just keep the basic uh, one 3D and one 2D method. Wow, I hope to see many, many more films filmed with this method right here. As an editor, is this uh, does this double, triple, quadruple uh, your time in that chair? Yes, a thousand times duplicates my efforts behind the chair. <laughs> I, I imagine that uh, with you being able to see it being filmed, the responsibility of you know making sure the right scenes get in. Um, do you ever find yourself while you're editing just watching a scene and and just getting sucked into that, even though you've seen this process already? Yeah, um, you definitely get sucked in while you're watching uh, the the scenes and trying to pick which one's the best. Sometimes you have to stop yourself and say. What, I'm supposed to be thinking something here. I'm supposed to be doing something with, I, you know, because you're just watching. You're watching a movie, but it's just, you know, a portion of it. And then you have to go back and actually go to do work. your job. <laughs> well, thank you for for giving us your your time today. I know you're extremely busy, and uh, you got a lot of work ahead of you because you got to hurry up and get this movie out so all of us can see it. Yes, and I'm Christy Collins Santo, executive producer and editor of Dead in Five Heartbeats, and you are watching Rock This Magazine. We're out. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. Yay. You did fantastic. Thanks, Coach. Yay. Okay, I'm ready for a beer. Oh, really? Me too. Me too. Hi, I'm Zarana Barger, and I'm Sonny's wife. Sonny and I have an internet business, and it's sonnybarger.com. And I check all the emails, and I print out all of his orders for him, and then he packages them and takes them to the post office himself. There are some times when you have a person who is just legendary status, or a, a world icon, and um, then you have the people that are surrounding them. When, 
when you or you being Sonny's wife, is he Sonny to you? You wake up in the morning and he's Sonny Barger, or I mean, do you feel that impact that the whole world sees when they think of him as that Sonny, the legend and the icon? When I wake up with him, he's Sonny, my husband, the man that I love and plan to spend the rest of my life with. And I don't really think about what other people think about him. So think about what I do. Is it weird to you sometimes when you guys go places and you see the people that want to be next to him and taking the pictures and things like that? It's a little overwhelming sometimes, especially if you're trying to eat and he's trying to eat and people want to come and talk to him. And But he's very gracious and he signs autograph and take pictures no matter what. And, <laughs> but no, he's really good about it and he'll sign, when he does book signing, he'll sign to the last book. Even if everyone's like, you want to take a break? You know, I'm fine. He'll just sign away. I don't know how he does it sometimes. I love being at home with him and doing everything. And I go help him with the horses. Not every day, but I do help him with the horses. And we go ride together. I have my own bike, so we both ride side by side. Or I go with him and the guys on runs and stuff. So that's always great. And they let me ride behind them. And sometimes they put me in the middle or beside them or something, but... It's a great experience. I love writing too. What do you feel is the magic that makes Sonny such an incredible man and such a great leader? Because he's, he's just Sonny. I mean, it's just, he's so kind. He's got the biggest heart. And even if he sees a transient on the side of the road and they've got a little sign up, he'll, uh, he'll stop and, you know, pull money out of his pocket on his bike and give money as, as long as they're not smoking because he smoked and that's what gave him throat cancer and he doesn't support anybody's cigarette habit. Do you feel that he is different than most people in the world today? Character-wise? Well, I guess, well, he's very honest, so if you don't want to hear, or if you think you want to hear something else, like, you know, you look good in this outfit, when you probably really don't, you don't want to ask Sonny because he's going to tell you what he really sees not what you want to hear. So he doesn't candy coat anything either. And sometimes people, he's just brutally honest and some people really don't want to hear that. They want to hear something different, but you're not going to hear that with him. I noticed that Sonny is really active. I mean, gets up early, does a lot of work. I mean, even when we were at the post office the other day, dropping off the orders from the website, um, what do you think drives Sonny? Oh, I don't know. It's insane. I We even get back from a trip, and I go on a lay on the ground and just go to sleep, and he's running around doing all kinds of stuff, wants to go out and see how the horses are. And I don't know where he gets his energy, but I think it's just years of always working out. and He just sets his mind. He's just he's great. And go to sleep just like that. But he wakes up, and he goes all day, and he just loves to get things done and you know rides forever when he says we're leaving at six we're leaving at six so you need to be on time he's very prompt he likes to be early and he, he doesn't like people being late and so I'm never late so I always try to get up and do you know whatever we say when he says he's gonna do something he does it and I think that's just uh, you know that's a good quality in anyone if they say they're gonna do something and then he's not a lazy person at all. I notice that you know when when we go places and and you know you two are holding hands or looking into each other's eyes. I mean, it seems to be you know a deeper love than a lot of other couples that that I've seen. Um, what do you feel is the magic there? Well, I just I don't know. I guess we're more like one, you know. I, I get a little crazy sometimes, and he's my mellow. <laughs> he's the one that evens you out? Yeah. So we're, we both, our birthdays are right by each other, so I don't know about all that horoscope stuff, but we're supposed to be very balanced people. We're Libras. And I think that we do. We just, um, it's like, you know how you meet that person, and you know they're the one. And we just, you know, everything we do just seems to... Uh, you know, even if I get a little crazy, it doesn't bother me. He's just so laid back, and he just keeps me mellow, and 
it just, it, I don't know, we just seemed to fit like a puzzle. If Sonny was watching this video and you wanted to give him a message, what would that message be? That I love you and you're never getting rid of me. <laughs> but I've always told him that anyway. You're not allowed to divorce me. <laughs> but he doesn't want to, so that's great. Yeah, that's really good. Hi, I'm Zarana Barger, married to Sonny. I did the casting and I'm executive producer on the movie Dead in Five Heartbeats. And you are watching Rock This Magazine. Woo! See, you did that better than all them. That's awesome. Okay. You, you told them to say Eric. <laughs> <laughs>